in the sea and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink but they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ but with many of them God was not well pleased for they were overthrown in the wilderness now these things were our examples to the end that we should not lust after evil things as they also lost it. Neither be idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and we are destroyed of serpents, neither murmur ye. As some of them also murmur, and we are destroyed of the destroyer. Look at Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1. I read from verse 10. But this speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves, go unto them. For they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greatly after the error of Bala or the world and perishing against saying of Korah, this as pause in your feast of charity. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, cloud they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose leaf wither it without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots raging waves on the sea, forming out their own chair wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the servant from Adam, prophesies of this, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his sins. There is a good judgment upon all, to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard, hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him these are murmurers complainers walking after their own lust and their mouths speak great swelling words, having men's person in admiration because of advantage. Take note. In verse 19. But these be there who separate themselves sensuous, having not their spirits. In Second Timothy chapter 3. I read from verse 1. This know also that in the last days, for the last time shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient of parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, territors, heady, high-mindedness, lovers of pleasures 
more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. Look at verse 13. Verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall was worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Let's stop there. We are taking our team from these chapters and verses and I'm bringing to you the topic that they may have their ways. That's the topic. That they may have their ways. I want you to understand that the message we are bringing to you are the things that if they are taken care of you will go home with joy. If they are taken care of you will live a forfeit Christian life. And you shall make heaven at last in Jesus name. So take note of this message. And they may have their ways. Everyone should understand that heaven is an individual rest. And so we must not join the more to do to do evil. We must not join them to rebel to murmur, to complain, or speak evil of any man, nor speak evil of our pastor, or our church. Remember, in Romans chapter 14 verse 10, but why does thou judge thy brother? Or why does thou set at not thy brother? For we, for we, shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Verse 12. So then, every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Take note. Titus chapter 3 verse 2. Titus chapter 3 and verse 2. To speak evil of no man, to be no brunas, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. Take note of that. Many things are happening in this world, especially in this end time, which is not the will of God. Remember. What happened to Joseph with his brethren? I, I suppose he knew that Joseph in his father's house was one of the youngest, fearing God, and the father loved him. And he was having dream of his future. What God said he, he will be in future. How that all the eleven brothers will bow before him. Even including the mother and the father. And it would not all go well with the, the brothers. The we are not happy for hearing what Joseph was saying in Genesis chapter 37. Let's see. I read from verse 1. It reads, And Jacob dwelt in the land of in the land where his father was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. These are the generation of Jacob. Joseph, being seventeen years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren and the lad was with the sons of Beha and with the sons of Zephyr his father's wives and Joseph brought unto his father the evil report 
Now, Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his, bread, his brethren saw that, that their father loved him more than all of his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceable unto him. And to worsen it, verse 5. And Joseph dreamed a dream. And he told it to his brethren. Told his brethren. And they hated him yet the more. Somebody they don't like coming to share good dream of his future. They hated him more. And he said unto them, they were listening. Here I pray you. This dream which I have dreamed, for behold, we were binding chairs in the field, and lo, my shape arose, and also stood upright, and behold, your chairs stood round about, and made obeisance to my shape. They hated him the more. And what they were interested is, are you going to reign over us? Are we going to be subject to you? And they were very angry. Upon that again, David, um, Joseph dreamed another dream. When he dreamed, he came again and dreamed a dream. They were very, very angry. Praise the Lord. I believe that some of them will be gnashing their teeth. Say, so we are going to show you. You are dreaming. Keep on dreaming. Praise the Lord. So they were watching with anger. We are going to show you. And the young man was smiling. Telling them about the dream. He doesn't know what was in their heart. And all of them united. When he said, let me go and see how they do. In the field. They said, look at the dreamer. They gave him a title. What's the name? Behold. The dreamer. Let us kill him. And see what his dream shall. Be. They can see. They never have any good plan for their junior brother. They are angry. They change the name of Joseph to what? A dreamer. As a mockery. So, you can read that more and more in that verse. All I want you to understand that what is happening in the present world is terrible. Are you hearing me? And I'm giving you an example through what I've just read now. Somebody had a good future. Somebody was living right. And he was sharing his dream. And because these people don't want to cover them, they conspired. They called him them. They hated him and sold him. They wanted to kill him, but somehow they sold him. said, let people, let it not be their hand. Uh, kill him. Let, so, so let the people do whatever I like with him. So take note where we are going. He had a vision of what God has for his future and told his brethren they hated him. They wanted to kill him and let us sold him to get rid of him so that his vision will never be established or realized. So the person speaking against the church against the pastor that that man or woman the person speaking about them against them do you know what is in his heart or her heart do you know why he's speaking against that pastor against the church against that woman against that man why do you want to join him or her. I don't know whether you are following the point I'm making. I want you to take note. That person that just came up and began to tell you about pastor, about church, about this person, about that person, and is angry. Do you know what is making him to be what? Angry. That's the question I'm asking you. 
take notes. Many of them are doing these things to have their ways, that they may have their ways and achieve their evil purposes. And it has and it is started by one person. One person started showing his displeasure. Another person bought it. Another person bought it. Another person bought it. Before you know it, some of them will not even know the cause of what they are doing at all. At all. And somebody speaking who originated or started this thing is that he might have his way. And he has corrupted everybody. He has corrupted everybody around. Everybody started talking. This man is bad. This man is bad. This man is bad. This man is bad. Do you know what is in the heart of the man who or woman who started this evil speaking? That is what the Lord wants you to understand. Is that they might do what? I'm not hearing you. So don't join them. That is it. Don't do what? Join them. When you see somebody come out, I mean to talk about this man, about this church, about this man. Don't join them. Close your mouth. You're a child of God. Speak evil of no man. Praise the Lord. And that takes us to the following subheadings. The reasons and examples. Our expected response and effect. Let's go to point number one. The reasons and examples. Many people in this world are terrible and doing evil doing evil at we when they want to cover their evil or their evil plans when they want to cover their hatred their killings their destructive plans they will start with accusing words to their victim that they to their victim they want to destroy when they want to steal when they want to steal from the church or steal from the you know from somebody they will begin to whoever that is blocking it will become what? Obstacle. That person will become a victim. And for them to have their way, that accountant must be what? I'm not hearing you. That pastor must be what? And that woman leader must be what? Because they want to have their ways. And then they began evil of that woman, evil of that accountant, evil or that pastor, they begin to say the worst man on earth is this pastor. The worst woman on earth is this uh, woman leader. The worst person, in fact, is this, this church. The worst church you can see is this church. That they might have their if you join them you will kill an innocent person. If you join them, you will speak against the Holy Ghost. If you join them, you will kill the only son that the king rose up because of his land. They want to call it land. They call him a thief. They call him an evil people. And you begin to say, oh, this young man is a thief, a thief, a thief. And you kill the only son whom the parent has gone. And the king will take the land. Do you hear what I said? If you join them, you will throw away innocent pastor. And then the evil people will have their way. Did you hear me? What they are saying is what? What is the reason for their talking? That they may have their ways. They will formulate all kinds of evil. Level against that pastor, against that brother, against that sister, against they say he's a okay, chase him away. Everybody will chase him. You say he's an evil person. How did he do yourself? And they sold this. Hey, he's an evil. This young man. <laughs> We are going to kill him. His dreaming dream. 
I don't know what is happening where you are. Among unbelievers, you are yet. Where you are living, don't join them. In the church, and they started in the branch, in the location. And they started talking, talking, talking. And you joined them, say, ah, this brother is a bad brother. He's a bad sister. He's a, ah. <laughs> you might help to condemn an innocent person that they might have their ways. Don't do what? Did you hear what I'm saying? Don't join them. So I start accusing the person, their victim. They want to destroy. Which thing they borrow from the devil who started it when he was cast down? He began to accuse the brethren. They called the devil what? And Sammy. Yes, they borrow this language from. In fact, if you hear somebody, sometimes you see somebody who wants people to kill somebody with tire. With tire. Eh? Because he has a quarry and he failed to destroy the person. He's ole, 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 ole. Everybody was ole, ole, ole. Before five minutes, tire is on the head and it's burning. He did, he's not commit, he's not steal anything. It's the only that this person has a quarry and they want to destroy the person. He will shout, ole. What happened? Everybody will pursue Ole and put tire and put fuel. And at the end, no, the man did not do anything evil. That they might do what? Maybe they're dragging a girlfriend or boyfriend, according to them. Maybe they're dragging money. Maybe this young man just carry a bag of money from his business and drop and keep it so that uh, and somebody saw it. And they say, oh, no, no, so you so can carry the bag. And then pursue the man around outside. You hit him, what? You know, I say, what do I do? What do I do? He hit him, I go, what? Before you know it, he push me outside. Everybody's hitting him. Ole, ole, ole. They kill him. The man will go and carry his bag and go his way. But they might have their ways. Do you hear what I'm saying? That is the evil, 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 evil of the present day. Accusation is going on. Borrow from the devil. The Bible calls him what? In Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice from heaven. Say, a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Accuse them for doing anything evil is accusing them. Not that they are doing evil, but he wants to have his way. He accused them so that he can they can be condemned and he will take them to hellfire. Because he has lost heaven never to enter again. He accuses people, believers. Any thought you accuse you, look like this, accuse you, do like this, accuse you, accuse you before God. So they borrow it from who? Devil, the accuser of the brethren. When the devil, when the evil king, take a note, evil king, eh? In a community. Evil rich man. Highly placed in the society. Or those that have advantage over others in any of their in any that is over any person, those that have advantage over any person. Could be the the boss, could be the, the, the person in the office, it could be anywhere. Those that have advantage over any person or their subjects, maybe they want to take the land from that their subject. They want to collect their wife. They want to kill them. They begin to accuse them and accuse them a lot of evil. They will call the people and say, the problem of this office is who? I'm not hearing you. They say, this is the man. That is the problem of this office. They say, in this community, this is the man, the problem of this community. Everybody say, eh, so that's the man. And then they say, that this, uh, that's the man. And one eye on the, you know, he watching them, he knows that he's just twisting them, and then he's touching the land. Say, this land, I must take it. 
this person, of course. That's what happened to Ahab and Jezebel. What do they do? They take the land of who? Eh? Naba. Of who? Naboit. They collected his land. They accused them and then set up people to accuse them to shout and then throw the man and did, did what? He died. And then Ahab went and do what? That is the plan of Jezebel. Plan it, execute it. And they went and took the land of Naboit. Killed him. They accused them. Accused the man. Because Ahab was ruling. Jezebel was the queen. That's how they killed the innocent man. Praise the Lord. So, this is what happened in communities, in business areas. Sometimes they say, a child of God, because it's not following them to do what they're doing. They begin to level a lot of accusation so that they will deal with him in that line. And the believer like that, he says, don't mind him. His own is too much. And they begin to accuse the believer. Took his job, took him, sack him from the yard, sack him from the line. Don't join them. Did you hear what I'm saying? So, I don't know what is happening where you are. But I want to let you know that whenever they want to collect or take an undue advantage over them, they will begin to accuse such a person. Call the person all kind of name. Like Satan. Do they not call John the Baptist what? They say he has what? I'm not hearing you again. They has the devil. John the Baptist. Didn't you see the Bible? They say he has what? Uh-uh. Have you not read the Bible in Matthew chapter 11 where they call him what? Please, let's see the Bible. The Bible talked about what they did to him. How they accused him. In verse chapter 11 I read from verse 16. But why don't you shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the market and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped, we have piped unto you, and you have not danced, we have mourned unto you, and you have not lamented, for John came neither eating nor drinking. What do they say? They say what? He has the devil. That's why we stood there against. I began to accuse him that he has the devil, he has evil spirit. What did he result? John preached to Herod that it's not good to take your brother's wife. He has the devil. Before you know it, they put him in prison and then when they met dance, they went and cut the head and brought the head before everybody, before they met. The head of who? John the Baptist. Now, look at that place again. In verse 9, the Son of Man, talking about who? Jesus Christ, came eating and drunk, drinking. And they said, Behold, a man glutonous and a wine baber, a friend of what? Publicans and sinners. Can you imagine? They give him all manner of what? Accusation to condemn him. And no good thing in him at all, at all. So, this is what happening before they can destroy anybody they begin to name the person all kind of what names take note of that they did it to Jesus they begin to call him thief wicked person a court man possessed they will level all kinds of accusation against the, that person that they might do all have their ways so that they can have many people supporting them so they can get rid of that person as a result they have killed many innocent people sent them to prison and then took whatever they belong to ask them to destroy them killed innocent people have taken and they're taking their land whom they have taken their land put their position in the place of work sack them took their wives and uh, people supported them foolishly and, or ignorantly supported them 
said that young man is a bad young man. He's a criminal. And I said, let's kill him. Kill him. Send him to prison. He said, we're going to see how this person can be a problem to us. And they might do what? How they are aware. Before you know it, the young man said, I didn't do anything. And they said, close it, close your mouth. Close your mouth. Are you a criminal? So I didn't touch anything. I was a criminal. And he said, what? Before the one stop, someone will do, we we'll slap him. Why? And that person will slap him. Why? And then number will give you a study. He's on the ground. And then another will run through with the stone. So he's a criminal. Kill him. So, that they may do what? Did you hear what I'm saying? This is happening in the church. Among those who want to leave the church, they will begin to speak evil of the church. They begin to walk against the church, speak against, speak against everything about the church. And they might have their ways. Those who feel aggrieved that somebody left their church will go at any, end, any length because if this man left the church they will call him a lot of names a lot of evil and they might have their they know what they are protecting they don't want somebody maybe to go to the person they will not come out and say it openly they will just accuse the person take note it happens in the world and among the brethren because of position, position in the church. Among those that want to marry and those who are looking for position, those who want that puppet, who want that uh, position of that brother or that sister, and those who want to marry, they will it happen. They accuse, say, forget about that, la that lady. Don't go near her. They will tell you a lot of evil. That, that young man, don't go near him. But he's a terrible person. They will call the person names. They will say so many negative things. And instead of a believer praying and praying for the situation, for God to intervene, they find out that those who said they are believers, they begin to speak, they begin to talk. And then continue also begin to level the person as an evil. Are you like that? Have you done something like that? It calls for repentance. Because by so doing, you have punished people who ought not to be punished. You may have shed blood, killed innocent person. You may have sent away a pastor from the location that did not do anything. If I have spoken against church, against pastor that did not do anything. They did it. They spoke against them. And they might have their ways. They speak because of envy. Because of disappointment. Which they felt that they are into. They want to rope you in to join them to do evil. So, do not join them to speak or do what you do not know about. Thou shall not follow the multitude to do what? To do evil. Remember, that was how they accused our Lord Jesus Christ. Am I right? And killed him. That's how they accused the apostles called them names and killed so many of them in a horrible way and destroy them that, remember Stephen also that is how they accused Joseph and sold him is it true they accused Joseph and then all the people they became angry I mean the ten of them they became very angry and said, um, "This person must, uh, we must give, he must give us chance." So they said, "Let us do what? Say him, and see what his dream will become." Is it not how they accused the Lord Jesus in 2013? 
Answer me by Linda and Co. And Juliet them. That they might have their ways. So they can they can write upon the Lord chooses the presence of God and what God is doing here so that to establish their church. So that people stop people from coming to choosing so they can go to their church and Juliet will have her, her way. Brethren, listen to me. And we are there people that followed them to speak against us. Answer me now. We are there people that follow Linda to speak against us. Please answer me. Are there people that follow Holiness Church? To, I mean, it's not. It's not even calling the Holiness is just. Of course, that was the name they painted themselves so that can they do their evil very freely. If you hear holiness, you say, ah, holy people we speak holy things. So whatever holy people speak, that is, the, that is, every, is holiness. After all, this your church is called the Lord Jesus. It's not called holiness. So their own is holiness. Everybody was saying, ha, ah, this is Lord Jesus. Oh, so this Lord Jesus, so that is it. This is, uh, so this bad man. This, uh, what they are targeting they want, to, they want to stop people come, from coming to choose it and establish their movement all over the world. And instead of the Lord Jesus, people will be clapping for them and say, this is the, the church. It's the greatest church. They do not know. Except the Lord build the house. They build the build but what? In vain. They do not know that any hand that rises against a child of God, that hand shall wither. And the confusion they sent to hit the Lord Jesus, they turn back to the sender. And look at the sisters and the innocent brothers they deceive. Look at the condition they left them. Can you see the condition today? And these people have spoken unknowingly. Look at what they are suffering. This sister that spoke here today, a person well blessed, working in the bank, has a good family, children and husband, and then every good thing. And when he start this work, he lost everything. He lost. She lost. The husband has gone. Children turned against her. Work has gone. Before you know it, the eyes also became blind. Everything was gone. The whole system is checking. And then it, she told us. Those that she took there are also do what? People, he said, one of them cannot walk again. They can't stand up again. It's one place. And these were people who shouted, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, he said, and they run up and they said, oh, that church, that, and they give cassette, say, listen, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. So there, you can see the condition. Look at our brother who was deceived because they're coming from the same village. And he was going to Western State distribute the cassette because of his innocency that was out of ignorance. And because of so that, the Lord rescued him. But look at his condition. The Lord rescued him. Oh, all I want you to understand don't join them. Do you hear me? Because you might join them and this is the portion of people who join them. They suffer too much for what they do not know about. And many Nigerians and many Nigerian churches are suffering because of what this woman has done. Poisoned them, crippled them, and they got them diseased. And they took away everything. They became poor and they are crippled and they are suffering here and there. All the people that spoke against her. Go and see the estate. Go and see what they are suffering. And this lady has just destroyed so many souls. Send them to hell. With a, with a dream that does not produce salvation. Dream that does not produce with lies. That they might have their... After all, she entered Nigeria. That's how she, she had her ways. She became game, game, Gain grants. Got whatever she looking what she's looking for.
So, wherever you are, don't join to speak evil against any man, any person, any organization. Go and pray. When there is crisis, accusation, pray for them. Ask God to take preeminence. That's what you should do. Many people have suffered and died because of what they say in 2013. And many are still are in that darkness. They are deceived, have been deceived. So that is the point number two. I expect a response and in fact. We all should always be prayerful so that we shall not fall into temptation. So that we shall not walk in ignorance. So that we will not make mistakes that others have made. Are you hearing me? Remember, the devil has used this weapon a lot to destroy genuine believers. Making them to murmur, making them to complain, making them to, to, to make past comments terrible comments because of what they are not sure of I remember a church in Nigeria that their members I know them very well their members went you know on rampage selling this cassette who will tell them that they need to repent and do restitution and I know they have suffered a lot for this great wickedness so many, many people have suffered so much. They never use this weapon to destroy churches, destroy people, make them barren, destroy their homes, flee them. Many have done that and it affected others to follow them. And they follow them to their destruction with a vision that they do not have and end up opening a church without a message. Yes, so many people they began to corrupt and destroy and move out open churches without a message, without being called. Corrupt, destroy the, the places set it ablaze. You know, spoke evil of pastor or church that they might have their ways. And then ended up of church of night vision. Church of what? Night vision. Prophecy. Church of what? And prophecy. That's only thing. No message. Whenever they gather together. Prophecy. Eh? Prophecy. Dreams. Those, uh, those things, whether from their mind, from anywhere, prophecy, dreams, any time they are gathering, nine vision, no message, nothing. How can church of no message and church of nine vision, how can people be saved? Church of prophecy. Beware. When they are speaking to have their way, and love people to destruction. Don't do what? Don't join them. Because they might end up working against the Spirit of God. Take note. Many have done that to destroy genuine believers. Remember Joseph. Remember our Lord Jesus Christ. John the Baptist. The apostles. Of course, you are pastor. They spoke against me. They fought against me. Because of envy. What was the reason? Please answer me. Because of envy. That's why all the churches that joined them, joined them because of what? Envy. So take note of that. So do not speak. Do anything or condemn anybody because others are doing 
that. Did you hear me? Don't do something like that because some people are saying, Oh, this man is a thief. This man is a bad man. This man is evil man. Don't say that. This woman is evil. Don't say that. Go and pray. Go keep your mouth wide. Shut. Take notes. Titus chapter 3 verse 2. Speak evil of no man. Exodus 23 verse 1 says, Thou shalt not follow the multitude to do evil. We must learn how to keep quiet and be prayerful. Are you hearing me? In all things, do what? Go and pray. Don't join them. Instead of speaking, keep quiet. We should do everything by prayer and leading of the Holy Ghost. The Bible said in First Thessalonians chapter five verse seventeen, pray without ceasing. Pray ceaselessly. When they are talking, keep on doing what? Playing. That will deliver you from a lot of evil. Don't join them at all at all. So we are not of the world and must not act foolishly, nor speak or support evil. And when we keep to this truth, we shall not be a victim of evil communication. For First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33 says, Evil communication does what? Or of good manners. We shall maintain holiness and be blessed and make heaven at last. And our prayers shall be heard. It shall never be hindered. If we keep the purity, if we keep away from accusing people, murmuring, complaining, and joining people to speak evil of pastor, church, or other people, honestly, we shall maintain purity. And at the end, we shall hear from God as we are praying. God will speak to us. And our prayers shall be heard at the end of it all. Heaven at last shall be our portion in Jesus' name. So, don't join them to have their ways. Bow their head if you have made a mistake of speaking or murmuring or speaking against any or allow people to corrupt you, make you to join in evil conversation against that man or woman, against that person, against the church, against your pastor, against pastors, begin to ask for mercy, pray. Everybody pray. Everybody. Don't join Everybody pray. Our Father in heaven, we come in the name of Jesus. Our Father will ask for mercy for every foolish talking, every murmuring, backbiting, every kind of false accusation and complaining, speaking evil of the church or the pastors or one another. O Lord, we ask for mercy, we repent and renounce the wickedness. Father, we are asking, O righteous Father, 
Have mercy upon each and every member of this ministry. As many that have gone into this error of speaking and complaining and murmuring, forgive us, O Lord. Father, heal our soul. Father, heal our soul. Lord. Father, forgive us. I pray, save everyone. I pray, O God, by the blood of Jesus, cleanse us from this iniquity. We repent and renounce every murmuring and complaint and bitterness, every kind of accusation we are giving to anybody. Father, forgive us. We repent and renounce them. We pray, heal us. In Jesus' name, we pray. And so, precious Father, I pray from henceforth, Father, by the revelation of this truth, preserve us from evil speaking, from joining the multitude to do evil, from complaining and murmuring and backbiting, from every kind of accusation to the church or anybody. Father, deliver us in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' powerful name we pray.